Hello and welcome friends. Let's continue our journey learning more about inclusive education with me Dr. Sunanda Roy. We all know that inclusive education aims at giving good quality education to diverse learners under the same roof. Diversity among learners also occurs due to different learning styles that we have. In this video, we will learn about the three main learning styles given in the VAC model. So let's begin by understanding the meaning of learning styles. Learning style is the way a person prefers to learn or learning preference. There is no right or wrong learning style. It deals with how the brain works and stores information effectively. So learning styles is defined as various approaches of taking in, organizing and processing stimuli or information. Learning styles causes individual differences as we all have differences in our learning styles. There are various models of learning styles which describe a number of different learning styles. In this video, we will be discussing the VAC model. The VAC model was developed by Neil D. Fleming, a teacher and educator from New Zealand. In the VAC model, the V stands for visual learners who learn better by seeing. The A denotes auditory learners who prefer learning by hearing. The K stands for kinesthetic learners who learn and they prefer to learn by doing. Some research studies have shown that we have two of these as our dominant learning styles. Knowing our learning style helps us learn more effectively. So let's try and understand how teachers can cater to these different learners. We begin with the visual learners. These are learners who are good observers and understand written instructions better. They get distracted by noise and require a calm and quiet atmosphere to learn. The teacher can help these learners by using miming or play acting and puppets since uh, they pay a lot of attention to gestures and body language. Visual aids like learning through flashcards, videos, pictures, maps, mind maps, concept maps are very effective aids for these learners. The visual learners should be encouraged to use highlighters in their books and the teachers should use colored chalks for highlighting important points on the blackboard. These strategies that the teacher can use will be very useful for visual learners in the classroom. There are computer websites and digital online tools that are useful for visual learners. MindMeister is an online mind mapping tool that lets learners capture, develop and share mind maps visually. Visual Words is an interactive visual dictionary and thesaurus. It's a fun way to learn new vocabulary. Try visiting the site. It's really very interesting. My Learning Tube is a free website that hosts educational videos for teachers, students, and educators. TeacherTube is a free site like YouTube, but is dedicated to hosting instructional videos only. Pick for Learning is a free image library which is designed specifically for teachers and students having thousands of images on a wide variety of topics. Using these, the visual learners can visualize their learning material, making learning easy. It's interesting to note that these websites are also very useful for hearing impaired students who depend more on visual inputs for learning. 
So these are the strategies and tools that teachers can use for helping visual learners. We move on to the second learning style. The auditory learners learn through listening. They may not maintain eye contact with the teacher, but they can absorb all that is heard in lectures and classes. So the teachers can use a variety of audio aids like CD players and other multimedia. They have a good sense of rhythm. So they learn better if the learning materials like poems, etc. are taught using rhymes. They also learn better through loud recitation or hear others reading aloud in study groups. Along with the teacher presenting, if the students are given the opportunity to hear other students or themselves present, then learning becomes easier for these auditory learners. The teacher can also use different voices while reading and narrating. This helps the auditory learners retain longer what they have learned as they pay a lot of attention to how things are said. Unlike the visual learners, auditory learners can learn with music playing in the background as it stimulates their learning. The digital tools that are useful for auditory learners are free audio books through which they can enjoy books by listening it being read without having to actually read the books. Audacity helps in recording and editing audio very easily. This can be used for making audio projects and presentations by the auditory learners or even by the teachers while preparing audio aids. Podomatic helps learners create their own podcast for music or any type of audio for publishing and sharing. Midomi is a search engine that will allow you to discover the name of a song by simply singing or humming the melody into its voice recognition tool. So the auditory learners can choose their music and listen to them in the background while studying using Midomi. Natural Reader and Read Please are text-to-speech online apps with natural human voices that convert text to speech or audio. In fact, these websites are useful for visually impaired students also since they too depend a lot on hearing for learning. These are the strategies and digital tools for the auditory learners. We move on to the third style, the third learning style, which consists of the kinesthetic learners. Kinesthetic learners learn more effectively by doing. Touch is their primary mode of getting information. They prefer hands-on or physical activity for learning. Hence, the teacher can help them learn by making them solve puzzles. These learners can learn better by making them write journals, even asking them to write notes, outlines of chapters, uh, or summaries of lessons, engaging them in clay modeling, preparing posters or PowerPoint presentations of things that they have learned is also very useful for them. Taking them outside the class and arranging field visits encourages better learning for kinesthetic learners. Role playing and conducting experiments are also very beneficial for these students. All these activities require physical activity which helps these students to learn. There are digital tools that are useful for kinesthetic learners also. Student interactives are interactive tools that provide activities and strategies that enhance learning skills. Using the class marker, learners can create free online quizzes, of course with time limits, to test their knowledge of any subject. 
Quizlet users can create their own flashcards and quizzes or study material that have been made by other students can also be used and accessed using Quizlet. NoteMesh is a free service that allows students to share notes online or contribute to any existing document. Cram is a free web-based application for creating, studying and sharing flashcards. You know what is very interesting? There are 68 million flashcards available on this website. Sounds interesting, doesn't it? Google SketchUp is a free drawing software that allows users to create, modify, and share 3D models. So we have seen the different strategies and digital tools that teachers can use to help students with visual, auditory, and kinesthetic learning styles. Using these strategies, the teacher can use diverse classroom instructions that will help students soar to unlimited heights. Hence, the inclusive teacher needs to be skillful in using a combination of these classroom instructions in order to cater to students with different learning styles in the same classroom. Along with that, the teachers need to be aware of the available digital tools that can help students with different learning styles. These are some references for additional reading related to the other models of uh, learning styles and some more digital learning tools for students. In fact, you could try to identify your own learning styles. This will help you in the future to become effective learners. I hope you found this video informative and interesting and have also understood the importance of identifying different learning styles. Thank you so much for watching the video.